What is omnichannel marketing? If you've been wondering about what omnichannel marketing is and if you need omnipresence in your business, keep on watching this video. I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online business owners create a qualified pipeline of leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with evergreen systems and strategies. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive the updates on my weekly videos about how to get clients online. I post weekly content about how to simplify marketing for your business so that you can have a sustainable marketing plan and that you can scale your business. And don't forget to like this video to help the YouTube algorithm. Recently, you've been hearing a lot about omnichannel marketing. Big brands see omnichannel marketing as a way to stand out from their competitors. So what is omnichannel marketing? Omnichannel marketing means that you're visible on multiple platforms, making sure that you are reaching your leads and your ideal clients, your target audience from multiple different platforms and multiple channels so that this increases your visibility. But why is that important? It's important because you really need to stand out from your competition and the market is so saturated. There's so much content on different platforms. So in order to become memorable, you want to be more visible more times for your target audience. So having omnipresence is going to allow the same person see your content more in multiple channels. Here's the deal. When you post a piece of content on one single platform, not even all your followers see it, right? Only maybe 10% of your followers see the content you post. So in order to increase the chances of that piece of content being seen by your target audience, if you post it on multiple platforms, if they didn't see it on Facebook, they may see it on YouTube. If they didn't see it on YouTube, they may see it on Instagram. If they didn't see it on Instagram, they'll see it on TikTok. If they didn't see it on TikTok, they'll see it on Pinterest. But somehow you will have more visibility because now you have more channels that your content is on. Remember, this is marketing psychology. For someone to start building like and trust for your offer, your business, your company, your product or service, they will need to see that offer or your content at least seven to eight times so that they can start building like and trust. And when it comes to creating the whole buyer's journey and actually converting that person as a client, it's gonna take you more times to have more touch points with that target audience, with that person, so that now that you've built the like and trust and you're nurturing them into becoming a client. I know some of you are gonna say, I can barely keep up with one platform. How am I gonna be on all platforms? Trust me, I know. And that's why I created a system that helps me and my clients repurpose one piece of content to 30 different pieces of content. And this allows us to have omnipresence, meaning post the same content on multiple platforms and also repurpose the same piece of content to multiple different types of content. I don't want you to start trying to create content for each and every platform separately. That's madness. Nobody does that. So we can repurpose our content in two different ways. Number one, create one piece of content and post it on multiple different platforms. When you repurpose one piece of content on multiple different platforms, make sure to remove the watermark of that platform that you are repurposing your content from. Other platforms are not gonna like you having a watermark of another platform. That's almost like advertising the other platforms. So they don't like to push that content out. So make sure to remove the watermark. Second way of repurposing content is taking one piece of content idea and actually repurposing it to different types of content. And here's what I mean. Let's say you have a video where it's a talking head video, just like this, where you're giving some tips or talking about telling a story or talking about your product. 
Now, the same content, what you are saying in that piece of video can be repurposed in multiple types, meaning you can actually take the text, the script of the video and put it on a carousel post so that people will, instead of listening to you, they will read it by scrolling through the carousel. Another idea is you can have a B-roll video, meaning just a video of you doing something or, or a, a video of a shot, a random thing. It's better if it's relevant to your business, of course. And having some text on screen on the video itself. So what you were saying, uh, what you had scripted in the video, in the talking head video, uh, the script could be written on the B-roll video. Another way of repurposing the same piece of content could be creating a static image post. Uh, create an image on Canva that is relevant to what that piece of content is about. And then put the text, the script of the talking head video that you had as a caption for the static post image. Another very simple way of repurposing the same piece of content is to create a Twitter-like post. Twitter-like post is basically gonna be looking like a snippet, a, a screenshot of the Twitter post you had. So you can write the hook of the video you had before as a Twitter post, snip it and post it on other platforms and the caption can be what you were talking about in the video. What I like doing in my business and what I always encourage my clients to do is to first start with a long form video. After you create this long form video, you can actually take the script of the video and turn it into a blog. And then you can actually chop up this long form video to short form videos and use it as reels and shorts on other platforms. Also, you can chop up the blog itself, which is essentially the script of the video, and create multiple different posts for platforms to repurpose. There are so many ways of repurposing content. Which one of these tips did you like the most? And do you have a tip to share with us about how to repurpose content? Let us know in the comments below. Have a great day.